custom fishing jerseys. It's a, it's a common question and theme. People want them. People don't know where to get them. There's a bunch of places to buy them from. What I'm going to do really quick is run you through uh, my process of building a custom fishing jersey. I'm a part of the Fayetteville Fish, which is a just a fishing team. We fish about four to six redfish tournaments a year. Uh, and each year with sponsors, the help of sponsorship, um, we're able to actually join the tournaments, but also buy new jerseys. And I get to go through the design process uh, with all the logos and everything like that. So I just wanted to show you guys sort of how I do it, sort of a step by step. You can follow along on the screen here. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can always feel free to comment below. Uh, and I tend to respond to every single question that I get. So um, I always go to Awayo, Awayo or whatever it is. And it's going to go ahead and bring up my account, I believe, or at least I'm logged in. So you have to, you do have to create an account. Oh, actually, no, you don't. So I'll put this in here. I think that's the password. It's always something. Yeah. So okay, this is actually so soccer jerseys. So they have different products. Um, they have football jerseys. They have they have all different sports. I use the soccer jersey uh, just because I like the material. They use this uh, moisture wicking, ultra dry, tailored fit. Rel neck, V neck. I've ordered all sorts of different shirts um, in the past. Um, I always go for the long sleeve. Actually, this is the one that I was choosing this year, but I'm going to go with the V neck. And you can see that there's a classic straight cut. Uh, this has got the Tex and this has got the K Tex, uh, which is the ultra dry. So that's what we're going to choose. So we're going to go ahead and go with this one. Uh, we're going to go with the V neck because I've had the round neck every year just to switch it up. And it will bring up sort of different styles of jerseys um, so you can go through and say okay which one do I like uh, normally what I do at this point is sort of pick something pretty basic um, this is the one I was going with this year so I'm just basically going to rebuild something I've been working on uh, over the past bit um, you can change the colors so I wanted to do the main color was going to be white so all my logos show up really well and then I wanted to do like a sea foam up here in the top since we're in the ocean. Uh, it makes kind of sense like a sea foam, maybe a little lighter, maybe a little lighter. That's not it. That's not it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, do that one. And then just to keep the colors kind of plain and simple, we're going to go back to colors. The collar color, I want to do gray. And the cuffs, I'm going to do gray. All right, so this is going to be where basically where I, I start. So you can add any low, any create text. Uh, so uh, on the back, I like to do like at Lopercon. That's not the at symbol. All right, so we're going to insert at Lopercon. So you're going to place it by clicking. So you're just going to click, and it's going to pop up here. All right, so in order to move it around, and I'm not a pro with this or anything, guys, but we're going to put this on the back of the jersey. And we're able to stretch it out. And then for logos, you'll see I already have a bunch of logos already added. I'm going to pick the Instagram logo here, put it up top, squeeze it in. I just let people know that's my Instagram logo here. This is not going to be black. I think I had it as an orange color. I'm going to change that to orange. Uh, so back of the jersey already has a name on it and one of the logos. Front of the shirt. All right, the name of the team is Fayetteville Fish. So I have a logo for Fayetteville Fish. Just the name. These are submitted and approved and I guess like uh, not shaped, but the size of the logo is going, going to work and they've already approved that for me. So uh, you just basically click, you pull it. This is sort of the design that I came up with a little while ago or over the past few days so it's it's easy for me to pop this together but you can make these uh, as straight as you want and I wanted to try to follow that line but I'm don't really want to because I didn't know if it was going to flow with that bottom line or not so um, I'll show you a couple different variations of it so now we're just basically inserting the logos so all these logos are from sponsors um, some of them are possibilities and what I like to do too is if you have somebody that you're going after just go ahead and mock up a jersey 
uh, put their logo on it, like find one on the internet or something, put one on a mock-up, and I just basically I pull my text or my phone out, and I will take a video of it. I'll flip it around and say, this is what your uh, logo would look like on the jersey whenever I'm trying to get their sponsorship. Uh, and that seems to work really good. So uh, logos, we're going to add another logo here. Why isn't it popping up? There we go. All right, so main sponsor, Auction Direct. Clicking in Auction Direct. This is a main sponsor for us the past three seasons. Uh, I'm going to add the fish. This is the red fish here. I take this red fish. This has been sort of a uh, the style of the jersey and their logo for the past uh, three seasons. So I just sort of add this in here like so. Don't want to cover up the E too much. Uh, so about like that. And again, this is just a rough draft, guys. Just walking you guys through it. Um, let me see here. The next big sponsor is the Window Gang. So I'm giving the Window Gang and Auction Direct prime real estate across the front of the jersey. You can see it lines it up in the middle. Always allows you to rotate. You can add to the sleeves. You can add names. You can add different colors. Some of the smaller sponsors are coming in now. Um, Atco Fishing. It's a new logo they just sent. Just putting that one right here in the middle. And Naughty by Nature is a new sponsor for us this year. And that is right here. I thought this one looked pretty good along the bottom. And it says this uh, resolution too low for size. Uh, I've already emailed the company just to make sure that we would be okay there. Uh, but just sort of eyeball it, get it where I want it. And if you have any questions, you can always contact Aweo. I don't know if I'm saying their company name right, but it's something along those lines. But then you get in here and you just tweak it until it's appealing to you, until you got everything exactly like you want. On the sleeve over here, I'm just going to duplicate this times two. It's going to pop it out. I'm going to pull it over to the sleeve. I'm going to rotate the jersey, and I'm going to click the little rotate button. And it's going to rotate it that way. Well, there we go. Uh, keep rotating. Kind of awkward. All right, here we go. So I'm going to have Fateful Fish going down the sleeve. It even centers that up for you. I can make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so now it's got the Fateful Fish on the side. Um, over on the other sleeve, I was doing a North Carolina emblem. Because we are based out of North Carolina. So I just pop that on there somewhere. Um, on the back of the jersey, I was doing the tournament logo. And I got a, I contact, reached out to the tournament uh, director and asked if we could use the logo on the jersey. He approved it, emailed it to me. Uh, so now we have the sweet Redfish Madness 2021 logo on the back. I think that really adds something to it. It almost looks like a, a, a paid-for Redfish tournament jersey or something like that uh, with that logo on it. That's just my opinion, but you know what I mean. Uh, let me see here. Logos, ad logo, what are we missing here? Uh, Lone Rider Spirits has been a sponsor for us in the past. Um, not positive they're coming back on, but we will go ahead and add them on here just for show. And I had them like so. Like so, you like how I say that? It sounds professional. Not really. So they're saying that's the center. And essentially... Um, that's the whole process. Uh, whenever you're done, you can you can save proofs as you go through, uh, and I can show you some of my saved drafts. So you saw how easy that was. It took me. I've been recording for nine minutes. Um, of course, you're going to have to email the companies. You're going to have to get the uh, logos. You're going to have to get their, I guess, buy-in on sponsorship before you're adding them on anywhere. Um, but really, once you get everything in and downloaded, uh, Awayo is super easy to work with. You just send in an email if it doesn't upload correctly. Uh, within usually a few hours they say hey I've uploaded it for you and they'll actually send it to you and that looks like right here in the logo section anyone that Aweo has approved has the, the, the blue check mark uh, so you know they uploaded those 
Um, that's what those are about. And then I was going to show you guys some of the drafts that I've done. So the drafts over the years, uh, this was the first jersey that we ever had. And this was my first like attempt uh, right here. So that was the first jersey that I ever was, was putting together. And I was just like, hey, Lone Rider, look, this is what your ad would look like. Auction Rack, this is what your ad would look like. And then slowly it started building. Um, we had Latitude 35, Bright Light Brewing, uh, Lone Rider Spirits. And if all these fishing jerseys, they have these um, – uh, a lot of you know fishing companies. You sh of course you want to be sponsored by Berkeley or Powerpole or Yamaha or something like. That. It's just not realistic for the smaller, uh, the smaller fishermen in you know each individual state. Getting sponsorships are hard at that level. So just go local, go with friends, go with uh, people that you know that own companies, and just approach them. I make it super affordable. Um, the second jersey that we used last year was right here that's what the jersey looked like last year um, my partner wanted green I think I've got his jersey or his name on the back of it somewhere and this year uh, instead of going with last names we're gonna go with our Instagram logos on the back I don't know if anything changes in between any of these but I'm supposed to have his last name on one and these are a couple of the variations uh, that I've done for this year. So this is with all the sponsors. Uh, Fayetteville Fish straight across the chest. You'll see there. Uh, at Shane Stort Fishing, his Instagram logo. You can see sort of a different setup on the back. I added the fish to the Auction Direct logo, which is a little bit different uh, than this one here. But uh, you get the idea. You get the. You're you're picking up what I'm trying to put down. If you have any questions, reach out to me, uh, Lopercon here on YouTube, uh, or you can message me on. Instagram at LoperCon, uh, and I will be willing to help you out. That's it. Hope you guys have a good day. Um, take care, and hit the sell button if it helps you at all. <laughs> all right, later, guys.